Baby, are you sharing your food today? Nope. <laughs> Hi, buddy. A volcano stop. It's always something. We're in the clouds. Shoulda be that. Oh man. It's gonna be a party. So, oh my. Anyone have my knife? Hey guys, what's up? It's Pascal. Hello. Art of Adventure. Costa Rica. Welcome to beautiful Costa Rica. Take it in. Let's check it out. A rich culture and a rich coast. It's hard to summarize the feelings you get when you explore a country like Costa Rica. The adventures feed your spirit. The beauty and wildlife replenish your hopes for a healthy planet. And the people, Buenas. they feed your soul. Buenas. Mo and I think there are three ingredients to cooking up a picture-perfect trip to Costa Rica. Number one, or should I say numero uno. You gotta plan a day trip to one of Costa Rica's 400 waterfalls. Honestly, waterfall hopping in Costa Rica could be a video all by itself. I've been traveling to Costa for more than 20 years, and I've had the good fortune to visit at least a dozen or so. But if you can only set aside one day for waterfalls during your trip, I highly recommend La Paz Waterfalls and Gardens. La Paz, which also means peace, sits in a great spot, just about an hour and a half drive from San Jose. In this park, you'll immerse yourself in a lush rainforest hike four waterfalls, and walk through trails that show off the country's vast species of butterflies, birds, monkeys, and even big cats. The park's mission is to preserve and protect the natural environment. The animal sanctuary houses rescues only. And the hiking trails and viewing platforms were designed and built without cutting one single tree or vine system. My favorite part though, the waterfalls. They're big and they are beautiful. The hike is relatively easy, but wear tennis shoes or hiking shoes. There's plenty of elevation, so be ready to trek down steep steps and climb right back up as the trails twist and turn below you. Some of the viewing platforms put you right up against the water. Talk about force of nature. There are a few opportunities to hike off the beaten path. I do recommend it where it's allowed, of course. The views are friggin' awesome. I think my favorite of the four waterfalls is the one called Magia Blanca, or White Magic. The views are magical for sure, but there may be a bit more to it. We met a couple who got married here the day before. The locals told them to stare at the waterfall for 30 seconds, then look into the cave just to the right. I don't wanna give it away, but let's just say it does play some tricks on your eyes. If you get the chance, let me know what you see in the comments below. The whole hike through the gardens and waterfalls, it's about two and a half miles. There's quite a bit of climbing at La Paz, but it's well worth it. At the end, the Costa Ricans greet you with a coffee and a shuttle back to the main grounds. Pro tips, give yourself at least two to four hours to check out the park. Bring a rain jacket. You are in the rainforest after all. Hey buddy. Tickets for tourists start at $33 for kids and $49 for adults. If you drive yourself, let's just say it can be an adventure in itself. Hi. Most hotels can put together a tour for you if you don't feel like renting a car. Okay guys, 
Number two, you have to visit one of Costa Rica's five active volcanoes. But uh, bring some warm clothes. <laughs> What's happening, love? <laughs> Why are we freezing in Costa Rica? Volcano, like 12,000 above sea level. <laughs> so, you know, it's cold. We're exploring the highest volcano in Costa Rica. Volcano Irazu sits just under 12,000 feet. We chose this one because it's an easy 90 minute drive from San Jose. Are you guys, what's up? We're in a volcano zone right now. That sign tells us beware. The volcano is down there. It's a crater, but it's hard to see because we're like in the clouds right now. Did I mention it's cold? Hang tight. I have faith. First though, let's check this place out. The landscape looks out of this world. Volcanic ash covers just about everything. The plants that do live here are really short, so they can't get blown over by the constant winds. And they're really, really thick. The leaves feel more like leather than a plant. Have I mentioned it's cold? Volcano. In the clouds, totally. Like, 100% in the clouds. Look at this. And it's really cold. Oh my god. Pia vida. The fog is getting thicker. And it feels getting hard. Just before giving up on seeing the volcano's crater, something pretty magical happened. The clouds thin for just a moment. We catch this rainbow that stretched straight across. How many people see a rainbow in a volcano? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just stir it up just enough to look down into the mouth of uh, the earth. Yeah. Oh, you didn't look into a volcano today? Well, you can do it. Just go do it. Go oh, with it. a rainbow. Just go get it. Mo shows his thanks by sketching one of his iconic hearts into the volcanic ash. I love it. The first ever Mubarak volcanic ash edition. One of one, baby. Before leaving the Cartago area, you may want to check out the Prussia Forest. It's about a 30 minute drive from the volcano. The Prussia Forest is a great example of Costa Rica's commitment to reforestation. Previously, the country focused its economic development on agriculture. Because of that, Costa Rica lost half of its mature forest between 1940 and 1980. Since then, the country implemented stricter environmental regulations and conservation policies. Costa Rica was able to stop net deforestation and allow those forests to regrow. Now, 59% of its territory is once again covered by forests, including the Prussia forest. Cool ass trees. Yeah, enchanted forest, huh? There are 10 miles of hiking trails here that cover 2,300 feet of elevation. So be prepared to hike uphill, like a lot. How you doing? <laughs> Piara Vida! <laughs> What's the hard part? As soon as the camera comes on. <laughs> Don't miss the bewitched tree on the Los Abuelos Trail. According to park rangers, a visitor once hung a figure of a witch from the tree. Then other people started hanging other things. There's nothing hanging from the tree now, but the limbs do look pretty trippy. Just keep going, because this trail will also lead you to a beautiful overlook. Special shout out to our hiking crew. You guys rock. A couple pro tips for this adventure. Wear hiking shoes or at least good tennis shoes. Bring layers. It can go from hot to cold quickly. Bring water. And make sure you take a picture of the trail map before you set out into the woods. Yes, please. Ow. Enchanted Forest, when in Rome. Oh, and apparently bikes and martinis are frowned upon. Who knew? The volcano, the forest hike, and the bus ride to and from our hotel was about 70 bucks a person. Not bad. So sick. 
While inland, we stayed at a really cool hotel called Studio Hotel in Santa Ana. The whole place is a work of art, from the trees to the hotel walls. I think that got somebody into the painting spirit. I've been asked to paint one of my hearts for Costa Rica today during the match, which is happening over there in a couple minutes. The boy, the flyer, say hi guys. Hola, hola. Yup. Mo's doing a live painting at Bar La Playa during the World Cup match. This restaurant and bar is one of our favorite spots. It's also in Santa Ana. Marco, the owner, is awesome, always taking really good care of us. You know Mo's painting is a hit, and the Ticos look good. Spoiler alert, they don't advance, but leave it to the Costa Ricans to party like they do. It's time for the third ingredient to round out the perfect trip to Costa Rica. You gotta get to the coast. It's a must. Between the Caribbean side and the Pacific side, Costa Rica has more than 900 miles of coastline. And believe it or not, oh, it's the Pacific! This is a first for Mo, the Pacific Ocean. Pacific first, not, not last. The Pacific side of Costa Rica has everything the modern day adventurer is looking for. Most of my trips here have involved lots of surfing. This time around, we're hanging out in the cute little town of Manuel Antonio, about a two and a half hour drive from San Jose. The surf is small, but the stoke is big. There's plenty of adventure, and Manuel Antonio is about as close to nature as a town can get. On any given day, you'll see wild sloths, like this mom and her cub, and lots and lots of monkeys. Room's right here. Monkey's right here. We're actually here, though, to explore what sits just off Manuel Antonio's coast. There are a handful of volcanic islands about a mile offshore. Some of these islands stretch more than a hundred feet into the air. It's one thing to see these beauties from above. What do you say we get a bit closer? There we go. The seafloor is unique in this area of Costa Rica. I had to see it. Instead of typical reef, it's made of volcanic rock formations decorated with hard and soft coral. The same motion in the ocean that makes the surf good can be a challenge underwater. A good day of diving here has a visibility of about 40 feet. Compare that to the Florida Springs where on any given day you can see hundreds of feet in front of you. But hey, a challenging dive with low visibility and lots of current can still be a very good day in the water, right? We see lots of cool starfish, a king's feast worth of lobster, schools of reef fish, big old puffer fish, and much, much more. You did good. How'd it feel? The current's pretty crazy out there. Two challenging but rewarding dives later, we're on our way back to the marina. Costa Rica, diving, so cool. Visibility wasn't great. And let's just say there was a bit of a current, but we're in paradise and we're scuba diving. Get out there, guys. There's something waiting. Just do it. We make excuses all the time. Look what you're missing. Hold on. Let me just show you. Let me show you. I'll take it. Not nice spirit job. 30. Excuse me. Hey. 
Manuel Antonio has a pretty decent nightlife too. You can usually find a bar or two that has live music. We posted up at a place called Marlins. You can't beat live music, great food, and various concoctions featuring the Costa Rican liquor, Guaro. What you got there, babe? Oh, uh, monkey killer. killer. Yeah. Monkey killer. killer. I'm not a monkey killer. <laughs> to I'm clarify. Not, to, to verify, I am not a monkey killer. But I'm going to drink this monkey killer. That's a monkey killer. That's we even stumble into an after hours joint called The Ape. Talk about unexpected and eclectic. This place has a refreshing vibe and lots of personality. I really wish I could remember the ingredients for one of my favorite cocktails. Something with guaro, fresh pina colada, and even a splash of coffee. Yeah, coffee. Delicious though. But don't miss Manuel Antonio during the day. That's when this town really comes alive. One of the best parks in the whole country is just down the road. Manuel Antonio National Park is known as one of the most beautiful and biodiverse areas in the world. Guided tours start at 60 bucks for adults. Here are a few more pro tips for visiting Costa Rica. There are only two seasons, rainy season and dry season. Rainy season is generally May through November. Don't let it scare you. That's when Costa Rica is lush and green and very, very beautiful. You can usually find better deals during rainy season too. December to April is dry season. It's generally pretty hot with lots of sun. Eat like the locals, the food is delicious. The water is fine to drink right out of the tap. Guaro is the local liquor. It's made with sugar cane. Ask for a chili guaro and thank me later. My absolute favorite treat on earth is the trit. It's an ice cream sandwich you can only find in Costa Rica. It is seriously a slice of heaven. I need to find out what they put in these things. And do yourself a favor. Get out of the hotel and go experience the real culture of Costa Rica. There is a lot to take in. From roadside vendors, to street food, to morning traffic. Hey buddy. Go and rub elbows with the locals at the corner bar. Costa Ricans are friendly and endearing. They are proud of their country and for good reason. If you really participate on this trip, I promise you'll go home with rich memories you'll cherish forever. Marco, I can't thank you enough, man. Everything you did for us was amazing. I mean, family for life, my man. Real deal. Real deal. And a super special thanks to Earth Charter International. This is really cool, y'all. We were invited to spend a couple days at the headquarters on the University for Peace campus in Costa Rica. They brought together a group of thought leaders from all over the world to work towards a more sustainable and peaceful world. If you're interested in exploring our role in planetary well-being, I added links to Earth Charter International and Earth Charter Circle of Friends in the links below. That's where you can also find links to everything else we talked about. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, Come on now. you know the drill, hit that Come like button. Now. Go ahead and subscribe, you're already there. How are you not subscribed already? I mean, I, I ask every time, but seriously though. We want our experiences to help make your next adventure epic. Yeah, let's go get some stuff, man, we'll do it. That's what Art of Adventure's all about. All that's left for you to do. I'm sorry, what? Tell them, babe. Just go get it, man, come on. Pura Vida. Pura Vida, baby. Can we go back? Let's go.